a Jonathan Taylor goes to the team that you're about to talk about right here, uh, I think it would it would really put into question as to who you should take at the 101 overall. Yes, we're back again. We're back again. We're hey, back let's again. pump up the volume. Right here. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely one of those things. I like that you talked about that because with Swift, you're like, if he goes to Tampa Bay, you love this fit for him. It's a great fit. I didn't so much as love this next fit with Jonathan Taylor. I have Jonathan Taylor running back out of Wisconsin going to Miami. And we did talk about at the top of the show how this would be best fits. And I only say this is best best fit because every mock draft I look at, Miami is probably swooping up Taylor, just where he falls and where they're at. And with the way running backs are projecting to go right now. Now, obviously, on draft night, this could totally change. It could be blown up by next week. But I think that next week, we're going to be probably talking about Jonathan Taylor um, heading over to Miami. You look at the addition of Jordan Howard, which means a receiving role is right on the table right away for Jonathan Taylor. And we know that he can catch the ball. He's he's definitely a guy that's had, had some pass catching in, in his uh, in his college career. But I think Taylor is this patient runner. He's going to be a, behind a less talented Miami line, so he's going to have to be a patient runner because he's going to have to get attacked right at the way, and he's going to have to make things happen. He's excellent um, and a, a, at, at the one-cut running scheme. He's a very powerful one-cut runner. Um, he also has had that lead dog role and, and that volume because he's hit over 200 yards 12 times at Wisconsin. So pretty impressive numbers in, you know, in bulk in one game fashion. And then he's got that track uh, star history, which means he's got the breakaway speed. Miami, if they're looking for somebody to build their running game uh, around over the next few years and really take the pressure off a young quarterback, I think Taylor's their guy. And I think this being a really good fit for them. Do you think that uh, Jordan Howard at that point with Jonathan Taylor going to, to Miami, would because Jonathan Taylor is built to be one of these big workhorse running backs, right? Like he's like an Ezekiel Elliott. That's the the most common comp you're going to get, right? He's a very similar Ezekiel Elliott. So are you, if, if, are you worried if you get Jonathan Taylor uh, going to Miami that Jordan Howard will steal a, a lot of those carries? Or do you think it's a very similar situation like he was in Philadelphia where he starts the season off as maybe the lead running back? And then it's just like so evident that the talent of Jonathan Taylor, just like similar to the talent Miles Sanders, really think, came through. And I think Taylor's a little more of a more complete running back than Miles Sanders was even too. Which means I think, and you're seeing another year under uh, uh, Jordan Howard's belt, which means I think you could actually see a case where that transition would happen faster than it happened for Miles Sanders yeah. uh, with Jonathan Taylor in Miami. But that being said, I think, um, you know, Jordan Howard is a guy that we're going to see get the the shot to be the starter off the bat. But if Jonathan Taylor is as good as he's advertised, it won't be long before he takes over. Thank you for listening to the Fantasy Whisperers podcast. You can hear more from John and Travis on Google Play, SoundCloud, and iTunes. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at TF Whisperers.